Where's my clock? Oh, it's on my crotch. Yes, I wasn't wearing it awkwardly. It was just laying on there. Okay. Jeez. Don't be thinking that. I don't put wear swatches on my dick. Okay. I don't know why I did this. I hate when they do this and they automatically select like yes for if you want to learn something even though you previously already have saved files on this game so it's like it's not like you already don't know how to do this this is the dumbest one too look at this you flick you flick back on the stick to throw to try to hit the HP and flower points but you don't want to get the uh, mushrooms or else it all cause you to like not be able to shoot for a little bit it'll stun you this is the most useless one well how can I say that? Because the first time I played this game through, I used cheats for like infinity health and flower power. So I guess it's not useful. Or useless. What am I saying? I can't even talk. I guess I'm just that nervous. Talking to all you people. Who, who even knows how big these get? I don't know. I'm not really shooting for, you know, some massive, famous YouTube help here. I'm just doing this for fun because I've always wanted to do it. And I just like to share my love for video games. Yeah, so right now, it's showing how as you attack, you'll build up star points. Not, I don't even know. But that gauge right there that they just highlighted, every time you attack, you'll fill it up. <coughs> so, a uh, few things that lead into that. As you level up, you're going to get a bigger crowd. <coughs> or you'll be able to hold more people. You'll get a bigger, better theater. And the more exciting your fights are, the more people show up. So the more people there are, or there are in the theater, the more star power you will gain per attack. So you want to try to like... Oh, that's bad. See, I didn't get anything for that. Perform like that and I'll get ripped off. So yeah, if I don't perform well, they won't give me anything. So you want to always try to perform nice and get the, like, the compliment action commands. Or the compliment actions. And if you nail it, you'll get like this little lottery thing over here. Oh crap. Yeah, that won't happen as easily as that, but yep, so the different ones you land on, they'll give you different stuff, like three mushrooms give you three um They'll give you three. God, I can't talk. HP. And then three flowers to give you the flower power and so on. And the sprite, if you get a shine sprite, it'll give you like, it'll refill everything. So that's really nice. Okay, now this is another thing. This is kind of annoying. I don't, I don't really like this, but the crowd will throw stuff at you. So if you ever see somebody like that, a little side action command will come up between Mario and Gubella. Or below them, actually. Shows what I know. And you hit X, and then you'll cause him from stopping to throw it at you, because if he throws it at you, you lose HP, and it's just stupid to lose HP over a stupid crowd member. So, you hit him, and you don't always want to hit him because sometimes they'll actually be like throwing items at you, so you just want to make sure, take a look before you do it. <clears throat> and you know what I just realized? Uh, this video is going to be split into two, so sorry for cutting out. I'm going to have to cut out... You know, and just end the video without even ending what I was doing, so... It's gonna be no, uh, saying goodbye on this previous one, so these are gonna be, uh, split into two videos here. So I might as well just, uh, say it now. Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. <clears throat> Looks like where this video is gonna end is about, or start, is gonna be, uh during that previous fight that we just had, so this is going to be weird how this is going to tie together because I can't even pay attention to time. <clears throat> Unless I fast forward it. I'm not sure what I'm doing because I'm recording this long. So it is here. Your princess came to see the other day. Yep, yep. She wanted to learn about the treasure. Duh. Who wouldn't? She's always out. You know, why does she need treasure? She's a freaking princess. She has a damn castle. It's not like she's poor. She doesn't need a treasure. What's her deal? You know, she's pretty greedy like Bowser, I'm not even gonna lie. You know, speaking of Bowser, where is he? You'd think he'd be in this game by now. <clears throat> but, guess not. Looks like he's gonna ask around about Princess Peach and stuff. Happens, you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor! Okay, well, Mario, we're off. 
So, let's let the adventure begin. Or not. Oh, sweet. Check this out. We just got a new badge. Power smash, baby. This, this thing's pretty good. <clears throat> Would you like to practice equipping and removing? No, this is stupid easy. Do you want to practice? No, stop asking me. Okay, yes, I already, I already explained this, and I'll go over it again since we just got it. So to equip a badge, <clears throat> you go to start, and then the badge. Then you go to all badges, and you see, here is your power smash. And to the right it says BP needed, which stands for badge points. <clears throat> and you only need one. Now to the left, um, below where it says equip badges, it'll say BP3. So that's how many we have. So we can equip this badge because it'll only take up three or one and we have three so now that we equipped it we only have two left so <clears throat> if we ever find another one I don't know what you do we'll be able to equip it again so <clears throat> now that we have done this we can go buy some items I, I'm actually gonna get some items real quick we'll go explore this town a little bit show you around because I don't want to really progress the plot yet. Because some crap will happen that um, will take a while, and I don't want to get caught in like a funny part of videos here. Because that it wouldn't help. Um, yeah. So get some of these. These are nice flowers, fire flowers. They help. Yes. Oh no! Stop! Ah, no. Okay. So we got 104 coins. So let's get one of these. Actually, let's get two of these. Okay. Um, tasty tonic. No. Let's get a shroom. It's always nice to have. No. And then we'll get a syrup. Get some maple syrup. Syrup, syrup. <laughs> I have a friend that always pronounces it syrup. I need some syrup. And then he can't say milk. He says milk. Or chocolate. It's like, dude, come on, pronounce some crap right. Oh, no, not this lady. Shoot. This isn't good. You two, another step. Don't come this way. Yeah, she apparently lost her contact. <laughs> this part's funny. <laughs> She's not, she doesn't want us to move until she finds it. So you're just like, okay, well, I'll go the other way then, since it's probably to our left. Well, you go to your right and somehow, oh, what do you know? Either way, you get screwed over and you break the damn thing. She's such an asshole to you, too. Look at this. Mm, this is your fault. Now you have to buy a new contact lens. Oh, my God. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Mmm, I'll compensate you. Okay, just kidding. Look, at it. It could've, that guy could have stepped on it. Why is it me? Uh, you know what? If I recall, I think you got to go, like, talk to people. You want a contact? Yeah, you talk to this dude. <laughs> And he'll get you a contact lens, but it won't come for a little bit. So just kind of wander around the town, and then it'll show up. But we'll get, it. we'll pick that up in a little bit. Come back soon. I'm pretty sure we could just go in and out and do it. But um, let's explore some houses. Let's just show you around. Yeah, here. This is her house, and she's kind of useless right now. But later on, she'll be helping out. So. Forget going there. Uh, save block. There's a hidden treasure up there. Nothing cool yet that we can get. <clears throat> Over here, this is where you go when you collect shine sprites. And what this lady will do is she'll give you a new move for your partner, or level them up and give you a new move for your partner. So after collecting a few, you want to go there. And to your right here, this dude, he's kind of a pain. You can pass him by paying, or you can uh, beat him. You can fight him instead of losing your money. But he'll kick your butt right now unless you spend a lot of money on items because you're not at a high enough level. And we don't even have a need to go over there yet. So, you know what, before we continue on, I'm just going to save right here. And then next time, we will continue on to our first area where we can... Uh, go to the so-called temple, which I believe is called Pedo Metals. So, next time on Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we will be adventuring 
in Pedo Metals and exploring the beautiful land of the Kooplings. Until next time, this is Nintendkid91 with Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Have a good rest of the day. Peace out, bye.